Hey guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial today and we're going to be looking at a sort of low poly water asset which fits a sort of low poly style game and this is one that I've really liked since the time that I've been starting the, the sort of top 10 free series and this is a shader by Pure Evil Studio and it's um, one of the sort of nicest looking little sort of water shaders that you can possibly find especially for free but all you need to do is search in the um, water effect fits for low poly style and when you get to this page you can just click on download and import because it's free as long as you've got yourself an account. Once you're in your scene, you will import the holy shift sort of demo and you will get all the things within the actual package together. To get the package started, you can see that if you open the sort of water sample scene, there'll be nothing going on. So what you need to do is you need to also import standard assets and you need to import the water parts for the standard asset. You want to right click, go import package and you want to import environment and the environment will actually have um, water for sample that you're going to need for this actual shader to work efficiently. So you can click import and wait for that to run through. And once you've done that, you'll be able to see it in here. I'll switch back to sort of just shaded so you can see it here. So once you've done that, it will actually be in your scene. So you can see that there's a bunch of prefabs that there's the water here that comes directly with the um, asset itself and you can pull that in and it will sort of morph itself to depending on the actual geometry that you've got in your game. It updates itself accordingly to find the sort of edges of the um, object and will create that sort of um, shoreline sort of effect where you get a different coloration when the water is most shallow or closest to a particular object. And you can adjust the settings. And if you need to actually adjust any of the parameters, you can go into materials, find the material, which is the low poly water, and you can adjust all the um, sort of um, the tiles, the um, density, the colors, everything that you need to, which will actually affect this shader in particular. And and you can check out in the readme that just gives you the basic instructions to import the standard assets, drag the prefab out and you can tw uh, tweak the wave density, uh, distortion power max threshold, threshold density, threshold fall off, time scale, um, waves color and waves target value parameters in the actual material. So you can just go about adding adjusting these to sort of suit your style especially if you want a more of a timid sort of pond look or you want something that's more a little bit more um, wavy so you can just sort of adjust it accordingly and you can make different styles depending on what you're trying to sort of achieve so this might be a really nice asset that you're trying to you've been wanting to get a style and you want some low poly water so this might be something that you really want to check out and just give it a really big mess around with because it's a really great asset and it looks really nice nice stylized effect and you can check it out on the asset store and I'll link a link in the description. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.